Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I wanted to uh, demonstrate how a, a 4G cellular router that's being used as a backup handles the backup, the backup process uh, and how well it actually works. It is pretty, pretty cool if you're uh, into home networking and that kind, of, that kind of thing. So I demonstrated in a video earlier today how to set it up. Now let me just sort of recap, give a quick, quick recap on what I'm doing. So basically I purchased a a data only SIM card uh, for 4G. Then I bought a 4G cellular router. I'm using the TP-Link MR100. Um, it's a pretty basic um, router, cellular router with one LAN port and one WAN port. Then I took my ISP's router, which we're shortly to see, and I went from the LAN port there into the WAN port, the wide area network port on the cellular router. Now what that is doing is effectively passing on the internet connectivity from the ISP connection onto cellular. Um, so really all the ISP network, which is the one behind me here, is doing is passing on connectivity into the cellular router. Now the cellular router has a 4G, has a SIM card in it, which is where I put my cellular SIM card, and it can handle automatically backing up to that cellular connection if the ISP router fails. Now, um, it's not exactly that simple. There were a few settings I had to change, but it honestly, once I figured out what I needed to do, it literally took about five minutes to apply those settings. And then I just needed to spend the next hour or two uh, playing around with ethernet cable to figure out the best way to um, have those two boxes in my house. And I ultimately decided to put the 4G network outside. Um, now, uh, final thing I did was took down the Wi-Fi network from the router here and put up a Wi-Fi network on the 4G router. And that's because that 4G cellular router now has the ISP bandwidth coming into it. Uh, that's coming, running from this router into it. And it's got that failover backup connectivity. So there's really no point in running a Wi-Fi network that doesn't have the two connections when you can have one that does. So in the interests of not running a bunch of different Wi-Fi networks, I took down the one on the ISP box and the one running now is on the 4G router, which is in the room behind me here. And I also ran an ethernet switch out of that 4G router and that's providing wired connectivity to everything, including this computer. So there's actually one cable coming out of this room to bring out the ISP connection and one cable coming back in from the other router to return the connection with the two um, internets spliced together, if that makes any sense. So it's pretty cool. And uh, the TP-Link system automatically fails so that when it detects that the ISP internet is down, it will give you the cellular internet. And there, that, that was one more setting change to make sure that it knows that the primary is ISP and the backup is 4G. So let me just show you, um, do a quick test and a demo of the actual uh, failover process. So uh, let me bring over to you the uh, current internet I'm using. So who is my ISP? Who is my ISP.org? There's a lot of sites like this, and I'm I'm, I'm just on this awkward cropping because I'm hiding my IP address here. Uh, you can see I'm currently with Partner Communications, which is my ISP. And if I do the internet speed test, I'm going to just refresh the test. You can see I'm probably getting something like 40-ish megabits per second. And that, unfortunately, is about the best internet I can get in uh, this part of the world. Uh, now, that's fine, but that internet frequently stopped working for hours and sometimes even a couple of days at a time. So that's why I sort of uh, did the system. So currently on ISP internet. Now let us do the experiment, uh, home networking experiment. So I'm just going to swap over to, I have rigged up a camera and uh, <laughs> positioned it in front of the ISP router in my room. Uh, that's what you're looking at there. And uh, what you can see here, I've just uh, flipped it around so you can see the ports. Um, that port on the left, uh, the gray port, is the, RJ, is the DSL port, I believe, so it's RJ11. So that's what's bringing in internet, and uh, that port there, the white one, is what's going out to the um, cellular network, and then there's power. So 
I was going to just pl pull out the plug and I thought I'd probably be a bit more uh, respectful to the electronics and just pull out the connectivity. So I'm going to now go ahead and do that. And once I've done that, the ISP router will no longer be receiving connectivity and therefore no longer passing through the ISP connectivity to the backup cellular router. So let me go ahead and do this. Just going to move across to the other side of the office. Okay, so as you can see, that took all of half a second. I've gone ahead and plugged out the, um, I believe it's DSL. I may be mistaken, but I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, it's the internet connection going into the ISP router. Um, and now I'm going to go back to who is my ISP, refresh that, and it should pick up that we failed over straight away. So let me actually do this right now. So it's been about what, 10 seconds since, um, since I pulled out that, uh, that, that cable. And let me just go over now. Who is my ISP? Do a refresh. So there may be a bit of a lag. Failover is not a perfect, uh, perfect science. But what, what should be happening is that there's, there's no connectivity um, in the ISP router, therefore there's no connectivity going out through it. And, uh, oh, that was not good. Let us see. Could be something like a minute. I'm just gonna see if I can even do the internet speed test again or if it's saying that everything is totally down here. Okay, so um, I just paused the video for about 10 seconds. Now it was not instance in total. I have single, single offline detection mode is what I have it set to. Um, it wasn't, it was not instant, but it took about 30 seconds and um, it did happen fully automatically, which is, I guess, the main point, right? So now it's saying Xphone 018 is my ISP, and that is uh, Wii 4G is basically a brand of uh, Xphone, and that's the 4G SIM card I'm using. Now, if I go into this website, uh, Internet Speed Test, I'll just do a refresh now that the connectivity is picked back up, and you're probably seeing much, much slower speeds. And uh, generally speaking, it seems like the internet is struggling to operate, um, but uh, one sec. So I'm just gonna do a uh, refresh on this page and we'll see what results we get. Okay, so we're now measuring and yeah, it looks like really, really, really slow connectivity. So that backup connection is generally not very impressive to say the least. It's like less than one megabyte. Uh, but I just typed in, does the internet work just to verify that there is some connectivity. So clearly given the fact that the um, ISP's router or you know uh, networking is being pulled out this has to be there's no other explanation um, other than that it's coming from the cellular it's coming from the 4G SIM card um, so that is that is basically uh, the test of failover so in conclusion what I guess what I demonstrated or figured out was that the failover process wouldn't say it was instant uh, the backup connection is not that good to be frank, uh, but uh, at least it works and it worked automatically. And um, if I go ahead now and put back in the uh, connection to the ISP router, it will switch back over automatically as well. Hope this uh, video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me on uh, technology, Linux, home networking, and other subjects that I am interested in, and so are other uh, people of, of this, of interest in these things, then feel free to subscribe.